Hello, my name is Pilar Treyes. I am a child and adolescent psychiatrist and assistant professor of psychiatry at the Seaver Autism Center. This is the second of two videos that should serve as a primer on pharmacological treatments in autism spectrum disorder. In our first video, we speak broadly about the role of medicines in the treatment of autism. If you haven't watched it yet, I encourage you to do so first. In this clip, we will talk about specific medications and their target symptoms. Doctors use a symptom domain approach to select medications to treat patients with autism. We cluster symptoms in groups that help us determine the best treatment option. Autism is a spectrum of disorders defined by two sets of symptoms, social communication deficits and repetitive and restrictive behaviors. But we also encounter associated features as disruptive behaviors, including irritability and aggression, symptoms of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, as inattention and hyperactivity, sleep issues, anxiety, or EEG abnormalities. Atypical antipsychotics, such as Risperidol and Abilify, have shown to be efficacious in the treatment of irritability associated with autism. These are the only two available medications that carry an FDA approval in the treatment of children with ASD. They also may improve hyperactivity and stereotypies. However, Given their complicated side effect profile, which includes metabolic side effects and weight gain, we reserve them for treatment when the behaviors are very problematic and or other medications have failed. Methylphenidate is effective in treating ADHD symptoms in children with autism. Nonetheless, studies find that these children tend to be more sensitive to side effects and they might respond to lower doses than their typical peers. Medications in children should always be started at very low doses and titrated very carefully. Atomoxetine also has shown efficacy in treating ADHD symptoms in ASD, with smaller effect sizes than methylphenidate, but with better tolerability. Alpha adrenergic agonists, such as clonidine and guanfacine, also have been efficacious in treating ADHD symptoms, in particular hyperactivity. Depakot, an anti-epileptic drug can be helpful in treating irritability and repetitive behaviors. Evidence is more consistent when kids also have abnormal EEG findings. Other anti-epileptic drugs have not shown benefit in clinical trials, but could also be considered in some cases. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, have been studied for the treatment of repetitive behaviors in autism but the benefit has not been greater than with placebo. Also, SSRIs have a higher tendency for activating side effects in ASD, such as increased energy, impulsivity, and insomnia. The evidence for the utility to treat depressive symptoms and other anxiety symptoms in ASD is limited overall. Despite this, given their general safety, SSRIs are still often used in clinical practice. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find these videos on the use of medications in autism spectrum disorder useful.